The sharks are back. Everyone's filming something in the water. Where the fuck is? <laughs> We've never talked about this. Do you regret moving into an RV? Yep. So it rained super early this morning. We made the mistake of leaving the stroller out, so I could not go for a run with these guys today. So we were at the park, which is like a mile and a half from our house. Okay, you ready to work out? Pretty much within 30 minutes to an hour of them waking up, we need to get out of the house, get some fresh air. Workout is done, feels so much better. Boys did surprisingly very, very well. I thought the second we got here, Kai would just bolt straight to the sand in the water, but he actually stuck it out pretty, pretty good. So now we're gonna reward, reward his good behavior with some sand time. Okay, you ready to play in the sand? We're in a race. Very intense race, and we're losing. We're losing. We've been losing to a pedestrian. <laughs> the last half mile, oh, we're about to win. Got it. Oh no, she's gonna catch <laughs> up again. And for the last mile, this woman on foot passes us up, and then we'll drive a little bit, and then she'll walk even further, and then we'll drive. Oh a little no. Bit. <laughs> she's passing us, she's winning again. We should have just biked. What were we thinking? We drove past a place that I have wanted to come to since we came to the Keys. Garden nursery with a restaurant inside of it. All these trees are beautiful. So we're gonna get the boys out, stretch our legs a little bit, and hopefully whatever is causing traffic dies down before we get back on the road. What's your best impersonation of a chicken? So our little detour did work and traffic is cleared, clearing out. So we're gonna grab some food. And go to the beach. Go to the beach. Tell me something, it might just take the pain away. See, I've been thinking a million things I would. What are you doing right now? What are you doing? We tried to drive down to Ida Morada, but there's Island Fest happening. So we have just been in traffic for, what, two hours? Yeah going nowhere. So we're here at Key Largo Fisheries to get some mahi. Ooh, look at these coconuts. Coconuts. Last time we were here, me and the boys waited in the car and Andrew came back and there were sharks. And then he came back with a video of all these sharks swimming in the ocean. And he's like, I didn't think you'd want to see it. They aren't sharks. They look like sharks. They're called... Poofish? Poofish. <laughs> Hi, where do you want to go? Over there. Okay, over there. Right there. Everyone's filming something. The sharks are back. Everyone's filming something in the water. Oh, we just missed a manatee. here at a coral reef state park. These are chunks of coral. The whole beach is made up of them. Uh, everybody's wearing water shoes just because it's not like walking on sand. 
It's pokey. This guy just couldn't stop swimming out there. He gets so angry when you like take him out of the water. He's like, Rrr. he's got to be swimming at all times. Yeah. And Kai's been trying to run off into the mangroves where all the crocs and gators hang out. But overall, what do you think of the park? I'm asking you. I wouldn't say it's our favorite beach that we've been to. <laughs> What's it hurts to what? We should have brought a thicker towel. We should have brought a thicker towel. <laughs> no, you don't get to come back. Maki dinner, and our venting had stopped working. Nothing. Nothing. All this smoke coming up from here is making this thing go crazy. Annie's cheddar buggies. Thank you. Thank you, Annie's. So this is the next day. We were horrible at filming. We got too distracted a lot with of time. how good the mahi was. That was my and the boys' first time having mahi. Yeah. And you did good. I haven't, I haven't had mahi in about 15 years. I haven't cooked it in 15 years, so I was a little worried. I have a question for you. Oh. We've never talked about this on camera or off. Uh -huh. Do you regret moving into an RV with the family? No. That was quick. Yeah, I don't at all. Because I've always wanted to live in an RV. I actually want to live in an Airstream for a really long time. And we get to travel endlessly, which is really cool. Sometimes um, frustrating. Too, too endlessly. Too endlessly, <laughs> yeah. So, well, yeah, but part of that is is being in the military. It does, it's not like it doesn't come with extra costs and stressors, but yeah, I'm down yeah. to do this for a very long time. I really like it. We've been able to travel and see more places than we would have been able to see in years of living in one place and then buying airfares to go travel to places. Wait. You? <laughs> no. A little bit more ahead. A little more you had to, hesitation. You had to think about it. Thinking it through, absolutely not. Especially for Kai's sake, he maybe had another month in that room in the middle in the winter in Alaska. Like literally, me and the boys were just stuck at home. Mm -hmm. But you also for 15 hours at a time. Yeah, and you couldn't go outside either. And it was uh, cold as balls too. It was like seriously. negative 20 all the time. Yeah. It was very obviously affecting Kai in a very yeah. negative way. And we were worried that it was going to be irreversible like damage, damage done damage, yeah. to him. It sounds kind of Dramatic. like over the top, but it really wasn't. I definitely do not regret living in an RV just alone, like for Kai's sake alone. Is it the best way to save money? Which we didn't go into it thinking like, oh, we're going to save so much money. Honestly, we've spent more doing this than been living we in the house that we had yeah. but we still have spent less than we would have if we went out and bought a house at the current interest rates though. true and if like andrew said if we wanted to take all these trips and travel yeah. that would have incurred a lot more costs than what we're doing we plan on on continuing to roll and going and seeing different places and moving different places and our parents are like when are you guys gonna settle <laughs> down <laughs> and it is costly i won't shade that it is costly it is with some inconveniences, some encumbrances, some things breaking, fight arguments over it, all over just various <laughs> things. It's also stressful on the road. Even with that, it's worth it, right? It's totally worth it for me. So right. we blabbed long enough, but we're gonna end this video with that little rant. Thank you guys as always for watching these videos. If you're not subscribed, please think about hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video of ours. And we'll see you next week. See ya.